Hello students, I am Shubham from Food Tutorials. We are doing the chapter Biological Classification. Till now, we have studied Kingdom Monera, Kingdom Protista, and this video is about Kingdom Fungi. So let's get started with the video. So basic information of all these Kingdom Fungi. So what is this? This contains all the heterotropic organisms. So we have already seen that heterotropic organisms are the organisms that are depend on other organisms for their food. And what is autotropic synthesis of food is done by the own, right? With the help of sunlight, with the help of light. Then what is this great diversity in morphology and habitat? So there is vast varieties is there in the structure and the habitat. Then this fungi, this some fungi are edible. Edible means what? They can be eaten. Example mushrooms. Example mushrooms. Then this unicellular fungi are known as yeast. There are unicellular fungi also known as yeast. Right? Yeast is a unicellular fungi. Then these are cosmopolitan. What is cosmopolitan? Found everywhere. Okay. Found everywhere. It may be air, water, soil. As well as in plants and animals. Right. Then these grow in the warm and humid places. Warm and humid means moisture. If there is a moisture, the fungus will be grown. We have seen this. See, it may be bread or uh, any food kept open for a long time. It catches powdery things on it so that powdery thing is nothing but a fungus so this is a one situation grow in warm and humid places thus the food can be prevented by keeping in fridge right all our uh, mom uh, mummies do this by the keeping the food in the refrigerator so that it remains in the cold condition and we have just seen that fungi grows in humid or warm condition if we keep the food in the cold in the fridge the fungus will not grow in that cases right then what are the applications first of all the yeast which we saw yeast is used in making bread and alcoholic food also making bread and beer or wine production this is used yeast second is the it is used for producing antibiotics also okay production of antibiotics production of antibiotics with the help of yeast which is penicillium okay this is very important names are to be remembered penicillium is used for the production of antibiotics right then let's see the next slide structure of the fungi what is the structure fungi are filamentous exception is yeast yeast is not filamentous yeast is just a unicellular okay this is yeast and what is filamentous this is a filamentous structure cells are joined to each other so they will form a filament like thing like this okay so this is known as filamentous structure all right then their bodies consist of long cylindrical slender red like structures red like structures are called hype okay first point they are filamentous second point hype what is hype long slender red like structure is there then this network of hype is known as mycelium. In the further slide, there is a diagram which will explain more clearly these things. Some hype are continuous tubes filled with multinucleated cytoplasm. Means what is hype are of two types. Okay. Septate hype and sinocytic hype. Sinocytic hype is continuous. Okay. And next the septate one. Septate one is uh, having a septate. Okay. There is separation of cells in each. Uh, fungi right then the cell wall cell wall have chitin this is a polysaccharide chitin and polysaccharides so all these points are important 
then some more points heterotropic heterotropic we just now saw that it is dependent on other organism for the food then saprophytic is what growing in the dead on the dead or decayed matter suppose we saw example the expired things or the uh, food kept open right then it will grow in that saprophytic saprophytic means uh, after expiry date also the food gets uh, what we can say destroyed or damaged by this fungi because they are expired now uh, the contents are dead so the matter is dead fungus will grow on it and that mode is called saprophytic okay growing on the dead or decayed organic matter then next is the parasite okay fungi are parasitic as well but parasitic means causing uh, diseases parasite cause disease mostly but what are these parasites parasite live inside the other organism known as host now there are some human diseases as well fungal diseases uh, in which the fungi lives inside the human body lives inside us and make us disease okay and then symbiont 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 means this is a association where there is benefit for the fungi as well as the other other organism okay both the organism as well as fungi living inside it are benefited right so in this symbiont there are two examples basically in association with algae association with algae are known as lichens okay important and with roots of higher plants roots of higher plants those are mycorrhizae myco okay those live in association with algae are lichens and those who live in association with roots of higher plants are mycorrhiza okay so these are the important points now let's see this is a structure this is the structure so we can see here this is a hype right hype this thread like structure long filamentous structure from together network called mycelium okay and this is a rhizoid we just now see rhizoid is root like thing basically and this is a sporangium okay this is a sporangium and from the sporangium spores are being released out right and this is known as sporangiophore just remember the structure that's it okay and here the hypae two types of hypae are there see we can see these are the continuous hypae okay remember the septate one very easy okay uh, remember the septate one how to remember this i will just draw and show instead of showing there the picture it is better to draw see this is a suppose this is a cell and in the separate one these are the separated ones see just separated and these are the cells so this lines for separation is known as septate septa it is known as septa so this is one separate one now see the diagram see, this is a separate hypae which is having a septa septa means separations right this separations lines we can see between the cells okay see, and these are the nuclei we can see these are the nuclei i have drawn these things are the nucleus got it and rest are the same structures hype that's it only in septate there is a presence of septa okay the structure of fungi and i have shown some pictures here very important this is the fungus grown on bread so this is the fungus grown on bread this is known as a white spot on mustard leaves this thing okay white spots on mustard leaves i will write here this is a parasitic fungi yeah? parasitic white spots on mustard leaves these are the mustard leaves and fungus has grown on it this is bread fungus on bread and this is the last picture known as wheat rust this is a wheat leaf 
वी ट्रस्ट ओके रेड रेड वी कैन सी दिस इज द फंगाई वीट स्पेलिंग मिस्टेक एज दम वीट रस्ट तो दिस इज रस्ट लाइक थिंग राइट आई एन रस्ट सिमिलर टू दैट ओनली वी कैन सी यर रेड कलर सो नाउ लेट गो टू रिप्रोडक्शन reproduction is done by vegetative okay asexual and sexual okay asexual sexual are with the help of spores right see spores are there but the spores are different names are there of spores and in vegetative this is done by fragmentation fission and budding we will see this detail when we will go to the reproduction chapter then asexual done by spores Known as conidia or sporangiospores, sporangiospores from the name sporangium, right? As well as zoospores. Sexual reproduction by oospores, ascospores, plus basidiospores. Now these spores produced distinct structures called fruiting bodies. Okay, these spores produce structures called fruiting bodies. Now let's see what is sexual cycle. The first point. So this is the first point. Fusion of protoplasm. Protoplasm is what cytoplasms. Just fusion take place between two motile or non-motile gametes. Okay, gametes get fused. Right. I will just highlight the important things here. The fusion of protoplasm. Between two motile or non-motile gametes is called plasmogamy. Okay, plasmogamy means fusion of protoplasms. Then the second step is second step is fusion of nuclei called karyogamy. Karyogamy fusion of nuclei, and the third step is. meiosis in zygote resulting in haploid spores okay meiosis takes place to produce haploid spores got it so this is what this is a sexual cycle first case is a plasmogamy second is the karyogamy and third is the meiosis resulting in haploid spores then when the fungus reproduces sexually two haploid hyphae of compatible mating types right hyphae come together see the hyphae of two compatible so they should be compatible compatible means matching should be there there should be matching case between the two fungi then only the haploid hyphae will come together and fuse right then in some fungi the fusion of two haploid cells immediately results in diploid so we know that from the two fusion of two haploid cells gives rise to diploid cell that is 2n haploid is called as n and diploid is called as 2n but in some cases what happen the scenario is different see in other fungi such as ascomycetes and basidiomycetes these are the types and intervening dikaryotic stage see dikaryotic stage means what nucleus are separated i will just show with the help of diagram here very important this is a cell whole cell but the nucleus are separated fusion has not occurred so this is n and this is n so this situation is called n plus n that is such condition is called dikaryon dikaryon and the phase is called dikaryophase of fungus so these are also very important words dikaryon and dikaryophase okay the nucleus are kept separate the nuclear fusion has not occurred but the cells are fused later the parental nuclei fuse and the cell become diploid okay means later they can fuse but still they are not fused we can say like that later the fusion can take place the fungi from fruiting bodies in which reduction division occurs 
okay reduction division is nothing but a meiosis only reduction division is meiosis basically meiosis is called as a reduction division so this gives rise to the formation of haploid spores okay haploid spore that is n condition right the morphology of mycelium now this is very important point means there is further classification of fungi how the fungi is classified based on this morphology of mycelium what is morphology basically appearance how is the appearance of mycelium or we can say structure of mycelium then the second is a mode of spore formation how spores are being produced okay and fruiting bodies okay so these are the three points used for division of fungi into various classes right so these are the three important points let's highlight those one by one first is what morphology of mycelium why to write separately again to just keep it in mind because this basis the right area used for classification is very important so the second is mode of spore formation mode of spore formation and the third is rooting bodies got it so now let's start the classification first is the phycomycetes so what are these basically here also i have took the picture of the bread fungus comes in this thing okay found in aquatic habitats and on decaying wood right in moist and damp places wet places basically wherever there is presence of moisture or as obligate parasite obligate parasite means what compulsory parasite how to remember this word obligate obligate means compulsory means it is parasite only means it can live only inside the other organism otherwise it is dead it cannot survive elsewhere okay it can only survive inside the host so thus it is a obligate parasite got it then mycelium is a septic no septic presence of septa is not there this is called a synocyte okay so these are the lower classification how lower classifications will be having the septa no septa is not there in the lower classifications so phycomycetes don't have a uh, septa so the hype is or mycelium is a septate in synocyte now asexual reproduction takes place by zoospores terms are very important zoospores or motile see these are the motile motile means moving or by plano a planospores a planospore means what non motile these are non motile motile are zoospores and non motile are a planospore then where are these spores produced we know that spores are produced in sporangium this is a sporangium see we can see from your spores are released out we can draw diagram also like this here are the spores so this is known as sporangium and when this gets busted spores are released out got it then sexual reproduction takes place after sexual reproduction spores are zygospore okay see so fusion of two gametes sexual reproduction give rise to zygospore so these gametes are similar in morphology again isogamous isogamous means gametes which are similar to each other isogamous gametes similar in morphology or dissimilar dissimilar is known as anisogamous or oogamous anisogamous or oogamous means the gametes are not similar okay very important terms similar gametes are known as isogamous and the gametes which are dissimilar are called anisogamous or oogamous here 
एक्जाम्पल सर म्यूकर राइजोपस राइजोपस इज अ ब्रेड मोल्ड ओके ब्रेड मोल्ड सी आई हैव शोन द पिक्चर यर हाउ इट इज ग्रोइंग ऑन द ब्रेड थर्ड इज द अल्ब्यूको द पैरासाइटिक फंगाय ऑन मस्टर्ड ओके वी कैन राइट यर फॉर द सिंप्लिसिटी So this occurs due to rhizopus. Rhizo, and this white mustard due to what? Albugo. Albugo. Okay. Now the second group, Ascomycetes. Commonly known as sac fungi. Commonly known as sac fungi. Ascomycetes are mostly multicellular. Example Penicillium. We saw the Penicillium is used for antibody production, as well as unicellular. There are unicellular also, but this is rare. Okay, rarely unicellular. Mostly these are multicellular. And what is unicellular? Basically yeast. Multicellular Penicillium. Yeast is known as Saccharomyces. Again, there are same words. No need to explanation. Saprophytic decomposer. Everyone knows decomposing means what? Ah, uh, decomposing means again it is uh, related to dead matter. These are also parasitic or coprophilus. Coprophilus means what? Growing on dung. Growing on dung means cow dung basically. It is a waste product, right? Then mycelium is branch. See here the mycelium is. Branch and septate, okay, very important. Phycomycetes is with a septate, rest all are septate, okay. So mycelium is branch and septate. Now a sexual spores, what are a sexual spores? Conaria, produce exogenously, okay, exogenously on special mycelium called conidia of force. Okay, exogenously means. What we can say from outside, right? We will discuss this in the reproduction chapter. But where this are produced? Special mycelium called conidia four. From this conidia are produced. See, we can see here. These are the conidia basically. See this. See these things. This cell. These are conid conidia spores, right? This is a microscopic picture. Then conidia on germination produce mycelium. Sexual spores are called ascospores. Sexual spores. Now see how to remember this. There is one trick. Continue watching. I will give this after all the things, right? So there is tr trick how to remember this thing. Sexual spores basically, and this uh, ascospores are produced endogenously inside. Endogenously means inside sac like ascai. Okay. See this ascus is a sac-like thing, so thus it is known as sac fungi, okay? Because this ascai is a sac-like. These ascai are arranged in different types of fruiting bodies called ascocarps. So here, fruiting body is called ascocarp. Now examples are aspergillus, leviceps, and neurospora. Neurospora is extensively used in research, basically, okay? It is used as a model organism in uh, biochemical and genetic work. Neurospora, many members like morels and truffles. What are these morels and truffles? I don't know. If anyone have eaten this, to comment how it is. Morels and truffles. I have never heard these names. Morels and truffles. Truffles seem like a chocolate actually. Truffles, uh, I chocolate truffle. I have heard. But what is this truffle? Morel and truffle. I don't know if anyone has tried this. Who comment? These are edible. Okay, morals and truffle. Edible means edible, eatable basically. And these are considered delicacies. Never seen such type of food actually. What is this morals and truffles? One last point here. This is the aspergillus. This first picture is aspergillus. And this is the neurospora.
okay then here basidiomycetes third group commonly known forms of basidiomycetes are mushroom mushrooms are there in the basidiomycetes bracket fungi or pop balls okay mushroom is a herd bracket fungi pop balls don't know they grow in soil on logs okay see they grow in soil on logs tree stumps and in plant bodies living plant bodies as parasite example rust and smuts okay so everywhere they are grown soil logs tree stumps you can see in the picture in the living plant bodies as parasites example rust and smuts mycelium is again branched septate okay asexual spores are not found generally the asexual spores not found but vegetative reproduction is seen by fragmentation this is common okay vegetative fragmentation reproduction by fragmentation is common sexual reproduction is not seen basically yes because sex organs are absent see sex organs are absent plus but plasmogamy plasmogamy what we saw it is a fusion of protoplasms so this is brought about by fusion of two vegetative or somatic cells these fuse together and plasmogamy is done by different strains or genotopes okay how plasmogamy is brought about by fusion of two vegetative or somatic cells of different strains or genotype the resultant structure is dikaryotic see dikaryotic means two nuclear separate okay which ultimately give rise to basidium what we can see a structure like this in which two nuclear separate this is n this is n so this is a dikaryotic phase these terms are very important to remember nuclear fusion has not occurred thus is a dikaryotic now karyogamy means nuclear fusion and meiosis takes place in the basidium okay means in future the karyogamy can be karyogamy can occur can take place in the basidium right producing four basidiospores so four basidiospores are produced so these are the basidiospores are exogenously produced i mean inside produced on the basidium plural is basidia the basidia are arranged in the fruiting bodies called basidiocarps in the ascus it was ascocarps some common members are agaricus that is mushroom remember these names mushrooms are called agaricus ucilago is smut and ucinia rust fungus see this first diagram is your agaricus mushroom okay this is agaricus and the second is the smut ucilago and ucinia is the rust fungus rust fungus we saw here this we trust this is a ucinia caused by ucinia fungus so this is caused by ucinia then the last group is the deuteromycetes this is known as imperfect fungi see why imperfect let's see because only the sexual or sexual or sexual or vegetative phases are known okay no sexual phases seen only a sexual and vegetative phases are seen when the sexual forms of this fungi were discovered so they were moved into classes they rightly belong to means sexual forms were discovered later but they were kept separate okay not included in this group very important point it is also possible that a sexual and vegetative stage have been given one name right means a sexual and vegetative stages have been given one name and placed under deuteromycetes sexual stage given another name 
and it is placed under another class right later when the linkages were established the fungi were identified and moved out of deutero maturity means what they are trying to say first they will be given a name separate name right a sexual predator phase one name sexual phase another name later when the linkage were established means confirmed this were moved out of deutero maturity fungi were correctly identified and moved out of deuteromycetes then once perfect sexual stages of members of deuteromycetes were discovered okay do note means when sexual stages sexual stages known as perfect because these are known as imperfect so once perfect that is sexual stages of members of deuteromycetes were discovered they were often moved to ascomycetes right sexual stages seen then these members of this class were Mood to ascomycetes and basidio mycetes. Let's take one example. See, there is a, there are some classes. We can see this is a class A, this is a class B. Now, what happens? This is a teacher. Okay, this is a teacher, and what he does, he keeps all the good students in this class, and all the bad students in this class. Right. So all the good students were kept in A class, and all the bad students were kept in the B class. Definitely, this is a partiality. But what we have to see, consider this as an example. Okay. So what happens here? As sexual life cycle was confirmed, the deuteromycetes members were transferred to another group. Like this, the partiality was done. The deuteromycetes reproduce only by asexual spores. This is very highlighting point here. They reproduce only by a sexual spore, known as conidia. The mycelium is separate. Mycelium is separate branch. Okay. Some members are saprophytes, parasites. Okay. While a large number of them are decomposers. Large number of them are decomposers of litter and help in mineral cycling. Right. Well then. Uh, here examples are alternaria, poliotrichum, and trichoderma. Okay. So what this first picture is a alternaria. And the second picture is the trichoderma. This is a trichoderma. Got it. Now let's take a slide and we will summarize and I will give you some trick how to remember this all things because there are hard names. Now, first of all, three groups are there. Phycomycetes, right? Then Ascomycetes, Pacidiomycetes and Deuteromycetes. Remember this word P A B D. Okay, P A B D. Phycomycetes. Let's summarize. This is Ascomycetes. Then here is the Basidiomycetes. Deuteromycetes. Okay, now let's just summarize the slide. I will not discuss all the points here. Do note. Phycomycetes, how to remember? Very easy. These are just accepted. Only this is accepted. Right? Only this is accepted. Sinocytic. The rest all are accepted. The rest all are separate. Now, what about spores? Now, we are the first highlighting point in deuteromycetes also. We can write that only sex, only asexual and vegetation vegetative reproduction take place all right second point we will discuss on asexual spores asexual spores called as conidia right orange spores 
एंड जुगोस्पोर्स ओके यर ऑल्सो देर इज कॉनेडिया कॉनेडिया ओनली तो कॉनेडिया इज असेक्शुअल स्पोर रिमेंबर एंड स्पोरेंजिया स्पोरेंजियो स्पोर्स जो स्पोर्स आर असेक्शुअल स्पोर्स अरेज फ्रॉम द ग्रुप ओनली वी कैन रिमेंबर सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन सेक्शुअल स्पोर्स Here it is what zoospore basically are sexual spores, and here are sexual spores are conidia. Here don't know, we don't know. Okay, and uh, now very easy is that sexual spores. From name, how to remember? This is a ascospore. Ascomycete is ascospore, and in here, basidio mycete is a basidio spore. Okay, and deuter mycete is no sexual spores are seen. Then, floating bodies. Last point: floating bodies. We will discuss. Rooting bodies. Now we are floating bodies. In ASCO, it is known as ASCO carp. ASCO carp. And here it is known as basidio carp. Rooting bodies seen only in what we can say sexual uh, cycle, right? So these are the terms. Fruiting fruiting bodies are called ascocarp. Fruiting bodies are called ascocarp in ascomycetes, basidiocarp in basidiomycetes, ascospores in the what sexual spores, right? Ascomycetes and basidiospores in the basidiomycetes. Rest sexual spores are called basically in uh, phycomycetes. These are known as zygospores. Okay, we can remember as come as come spore and basidio spore. Rest other if comes in the option, we can see this is a phycomycetes. In phycomycetes, these are known as zygospore basically. We will write here zygospores. Okay, and our sexual spores are basically conidia in asco. As well as deutero, right? And in the uh, phycomycetes, zoospores. That's it. So this is a summary slide. How to remember the different classes of fungi. So that's it for this video. I hope that this video helps you. If you find this video helpful, do let us know in the comment section as well as subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for the upcoming videos.